do is, Lord. Amen, Lord. See, all his works holy. And all his ways is righteous. Yeah. I'm so glad to be serving a God like this. And I'm not ashamed of it. I don't want people to see anything in me where I'm ashamed of the Lord. Doesn't matter how it troubles me. I want to always acknowledge the Lord. Amen. Always glory in him. Mm -hmm. I pray and ask the Lord. I said, Lord, whatever I do. I said, Lord, you get the glory out of it. You get the glory and the honor. Yeah. See, we had to realize that we have to do as the word say. Cunning sent the men of low estate. Low estate. And the Bible said we ought to humble ourselves under the mighty hands of God. Amen. Amen. And let him exhort us. That's right. God is the only one can exhort you today. Amen. See, because he's the only righteous one, you know. And he has to be the one to exhort you. That's right. He has to be the one to help us and reveal unto us everything we need to do mm -hmm. according to the word. Everybody should be concerned today for your salvation. Amen. You here for a purpose today. Amen. Is that right? Amen. God have allowed you to be here for a reason now. Amen. So that, that word say where no man will have an excuse. Right. Amen. God placed the words here. If you just have heard it just once, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's enough now. You don't have to hear the word over and over again when you hear about Jesus Christ and his saving power to you, towards you, that one time is enough. Oh, yeah. Why? Right. If you don't do what it say, that one time coming up in judgment. Yeah. Is that right? Amen. Amen. You remember the rich man? He fed sumptuously, the word say. Uh -huh. But one day he had to leave. Yes, sir. Amen. He had a wonderful time in this earth. Yeah. Fed sumptuously. Uh -huh. Amen. Poor Lazarus didn't have anything to eat. Uh -huh. He was begging. Uh -huh. The dogs licked his wounds. That's right. But Lazarus had prepared a place in God. That's right. And, and, and that word say, give me that reader. Luke 16, 19. You see the word. See, Jesus is speaking to us now. Yeah. The same word now, it, it attaches to us. Yeah. And don't need you running from it. Because you can't run away from it. No. Amen. It's best to call on Lord Jesus while you're here. Amen. You may look stupid, but call him. <laughs> Somebody might call you crazy, but be a fool for Christ's sake. Amen. Is that right? This one thing everybody's supposed to do if they be saved. Call on the name of the Lord. Somebody here and you say, Lord Jesus, don't you be ashamed of it. Uh, everybody's supposed to call them if they want to be saved. Amen. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. What did the word say, read it? There was a certain rich man. There was a certain rich man. Which was clothed in purple and fine linen. Look out. That man dressed well. He lived well. Ate well. Amen. You know... Whatever you obtain in this world, that's not God. Okay, what kind of riches we form in this world, that's not God. That doesn't make you an inch in Christ. Is that right? You had to come down and serve him in spirit and in truth. Lord Jesus, we ought to pray for everybody in here every day that God fill the church with the Holy Ghost. Amen. I pray to that effect. Lord, fill the oh, church. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fill us with the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 That's something we got to have in here. Oh, yeah. And we may as well pray for that effect. Oh, yeah. 
Everybody don't have the Holy Ghost and some that profess the Holy Ghost, you need to be regenerated again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My God, Lord Jesus, fill the church. Yeah. Give the church the Holy Ghost. That's something you have to have to take that flight in God. And that last trump, the trumpet going to sound and the dead in Christ going to rise. Amen. Is that right? I want to be one of those that can get up. I don't want to be in that grave and the angels pass us by. So I want to prepare myself now and die with the Holy Ghost in me. And you don't have to worry about getting up. Amen. When time for you to do it, you get up. What did it say, Rita? And fared sumptuously every day. Man, the man had a blast. <laughs> Is that right? I said, well, look like the saints can't just enjoy all those things in the world. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Y'all want to take a month vacation? No. With pay? No. Give you a second thought there, huh? I say with pay. I might take it with pay. Oh. Might take it. That's something to think about, isn't it? Take a cruise around the world. Hey Amen. Have wine sitting on the table every time you eat. Get a little sip of wine and go ahead and enjoy. Hey Amen. Is that right? Hey Amen. You have a wine there, you know. You want to have to digest your food a little bit, you know. You sip a little bit of it. Is, is that right? <laughs> you go first class on the airplanes. You know, they, in first class, they, they treat you a little better, you know. They'll ask you what you want to drink. What you got? You got some beer. You got a little, you know, strong drink, a little scotch and ice and all that kind of stuff. And you get you a glass of wine. Ain't no other saint around. What you do? Kill it and wipe your mouth. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, All right, Rita. <laughs> and there was a certain beggar named Lazarus. See, we may have a hard time in this world. Your bill's half killing you. When you pay one, there's another one. Sometimes it's easy to get yourself overextended. Very easy. And when you get overextended, you caught in the snare. Yeah. Now you have to pray and ask the Lord to deliver you out of that. Is that right? Then you're having trouble on every side. Need to put a roof on your house. Need to paint your house. Yeah, man, there's so much to do. The refrigerator and the freezer is gone. Man, you, yeah, but look at here. One thing about it, we, we have repented. We were baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, and we added on to the church. And we added on to the church where Jesus said, now you clean through the word, which I have spoken unto you. Lord, take his word and wash us and cleanse us as the fill of soaps. Amen. Make you clean. Amen. You need to be washed when you come in. Be baptized. Amen. You don't be baptized and you have clean every whit. The word has to be preached to you. Oh, yeah. it, it, you have to change your lifestyle. Amen. Is that right? Amen. And the word has to help you to change it. Oh, yeah. Amen. And Jesus take the word and he clean you up. And, and renew the, you have the, 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 the new man, you know, not the old. The inner man had to be renewed day by day. Yeah. Get better in the Lord. You know, if you practice something in this natural life, you get better in it. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Yes, you do. Oh, yeah. You get better in that. Why? You using it a lot. Oh, yeah. Well, if we use holiness enough, we supposed to get better in holiness. Yeah. You're supposed to be able to withstand the storms now. Why? You don't suffer then yet. Amen. You don't suffer. You can't stay with God. You suffer not. You won't reign with God. So what do we do? 
whatever you allow to happen to us, thank God we in the Lord. Lazarus was supposedly listening to Moses and the law. Lazarus apparently then was obeying it. Oh yeah. But the rich man didn't pay the attention. Why did it say read it? There was a certain beggar named Lazarus. Yes. Which was laid at his gate. All right. Full of swords. Boy, you see this? Lazarus paying attention to Moses and the law mm -hmm. and full of souls. Mm -hmm. And did nothing to eat. And desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Man, give me some of that stew beef you left over there. Y'all don't want that. <laughs> we'll eat it. Is that right? <laughs> Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sword. Isn't that something? Amen. 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 <laughs> well, you thank God for something to eat, right? Yeah. I know we coming up. Amen. Somebody give you something to eat. You didn't care whether there's leftovers or not. Man, that food looked good on that plate and you ate it. To everybody else, and, uh, you got the leftovers. That's all right. Bring it on. Why, that was food. Lazarus wanted to come from the rich man's table. What was that? The straps. Clean out the plates. And just give me that. Mm. Somebody left a piece of meat on their plate. Give me that. Piece of bread. Give me that. Somebody don't eat collard greens. Give me that. You see what I'm saying? Amen. God people have a rough time, but God put their rough time on us to save us. Isn't that something? God can't give me everything I ask him for. Because I'm going to ask something upon my own lust. You too. Is that right? Well, we will ask God something upon our lust. What is something we want? That's right. And then if God doesn't do it, you get offended with God and that makes you weak in God. Say, hey, I never get offended with Jesus Christ. Amen. Doesn't matter what he takes me through. It's all good for my soul. Right. Is that right? Amen. Amen. What did it say, Rita? And it came to pass. Yes. That the beggar died. All right. You, you're going to die in here, all of us. You see that graveyard out there? If you live around here long enough, your name out there too is going to oh, yeah. be out there. Oh, yeah. Somebody come by and look at your grave. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, we may as well admit this thing. You ride by that graveyard and we don't hardly pay any attention. But one day, if we're around here somewhere, we'd be out there too. Oh, yeah. Somebody come by and look at your headstone. Won't happen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. So what we supposed to do? Do as that rich... The beggar did. He obeyed the laws of Moses. And the prophets. That's right. And that's what helped him to be saved. What did it say? And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels. In yes. Abraham's bosom. Look how God working here. Amen. The rich man also died and was uh, buried. Uh-oh. And in hell. Oi. He lifted up his eyes, he lift up his eyes, being torments, being in torments, excuse me. In torments? And seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. He couldn't reach Abraham. They were telling me, see, they look up there in heaven. And see Jacob and those in heaven. Mm -hmm. And they'll be thrashed out of there. Isn't that something? Lord, I don't want to look up there at Moses and all that. I want to be where they are. Yeah. See, he couldn't be where Father Abraham was. No. No. He just saw it a ways off. Like that word say, you look up in heaven. Glory to God. See, Jacob and those there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isn't that something? Oh, yeah, I say unto you, Matthew 8 and 11. I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west. Yes, sir. And shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac 
Look, look, look at this. And Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. Look, look here. Look here. I guarantee you, God have a way of us knowing one another. You get in the kingdom of heaven, you know Moses. Is that right? That's right. You know Isaiah. Oh, yeah. You know Jacob. When you see Jacob, you know Jacob who he is. Is that right? Mm -hmm. We'll be as angels. That's right. When you see Gabriel, you know that's the oh, angel yeah. Gabriel. Amen. Michael the archangel, you yes, know sir. that's Michael when you see him. Yes, sir. Your mind, our minds will be different now. We'll have a spiritual mind as the angels. You won't be able to think on natural things anymore. Amen. You don't, you don't be thinking, <clears throat> getting sad about the hard time you had. That's yeah. gone. All former things, the Bible say, would have passed away. Yes, Lord. Thank you. You got no more aches, no more pains, mm -hmm. no heart trouble, no diabetes. Is that right? Amen. That won't be with Christ. No. You have a glorified body. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. I'm working for that glorified body. Thank you, Lord. Lord, what does it say, read it? But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. Uh oh. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Amen. Isn't that something? Amen. Amen. What does it say? Luke 16 and 24. All right. And he cried and said. What? Father Abraham. Father Abraham. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. And send Lazarus. Oh, look here. Now you want to pay Lazarus some attention now. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't feed him, but now you want him to dip his hand in some water and, yes, and, and, and come and mm. drop it on your tongue. You in that fire. Hmm. Yeah. Amen. That's why we ought to help one another here. Amen. Why are we on this side? Yeah. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. What did it say, Rita? Have mercy on me and sin Lazarus. Uh-oh. That he may dip the tip of his finger in water. Ah, isn't that something? And cool my tongue. Oh, Jesus. For I am tormented in this flame. Well, that fire burning, you won't burn, be burned up. Jesus Christ. Amen. Isn't that something? Amen. Read on. But Abraham said. What? Son. Son. Remember that thou in thy lifetime receiveth thy good things. See, you can't have, like Job said, he had to put his wife in place. Mm -hmm. she, she thought Job was supposed to receive all goodness. Yeah. And no evil. Job had to tell her, you, you're speaking like a foolish woman. You think God going to allow the saints to be here and we don't have no trouble to go through? Oh, yeah. Yes, you will. Oh, yeah. Don't get high-minded talking you in God and you're not going to suffer. Yes, you will. God will see that you suffer. Got to see. That's right. Is that right? That's right. God will see that you suffer. Just wait on your time. Suffering coming in. Oh, I'm doing pretty good now. All I teach you just wait in God. Lord, You're going to have, have some mercy. suffering. Oh, yeah. You have some sickness. Yeah. Oh, have some mercy. pain. That's right. Distress. Oh, have mercy, Lord. And a whole lot of tribulation. Oh, a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have it so much until it's confirmed to you that we're going to have it. Amen. What y'all crying about? You better thank God you have a mind to call on God. As long as I can call on the limb of the Lord, the Bible say you shall be saved. By what? Just calling on his name, you can be saved. Is that right? If you call on his name, you're supposed to be saved. So we may as well follow the word in here. And be joyful. Don't worry about it. God going to chase in you. He's going to correct you, reprove you. Oh, yeah. is, is that right? Man. That's the making of a saint. Man. Is, is that right? Man. Whatever it says, without it, 
without the chastening of the Lord, can, can we be saved? No. Yeah, Amen. Is that right? Man. God have to reprove us. Man. Rebuke us. I know you don't want to be reproved all the time and rebuke all the time. You, you want to hear something and just skip over. Is, is that right? Amen. Amen. Read it. What is Hebrews it? 12 and 6. All right. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. Now you see this? If God love you, you will suffer. Amen. And scourge it every son whom he receives. Mean he gonna whoop you too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Say I'm too grown for whipping. No, you're not in God. <laughs> and God will tear you up. Yes, sir. Amen. Is that right? Amen. When God get a hold to you, nobody else can help you. Nobody. Is that right? <laughs> No one can help you when God get a hold of us. Every son he receives it. He's going to put something on you. Yes, sir. And see, he come in a mysterious way. He's going to come in a way that you think not. Then he'll come to you and bring this letter to come upon you. The only thing I do is tell you, thank God and keep on praying. Don't stop praying. Endure to the end. Endure to the end. Amen. Jesus said that the only way you're going to be saved is endure it until the end. Amen. 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 Don't get tired coming to church. No, if you don't come here, the devil going to meet you somewhere else. You better believe it. Better believe it. If you don't come to church, you want to go somewhere. <laughs> but not the church. You want to hear something, but not preach it. You messed up then. How you can have faith in God and you don't hear preaching about the cross, Jesus Christ, how he died for you. No faith. You won't have any faith in him. Mm -hmm. You have to hear some preaching to have some faith in God. Oh, yeah. Hear these promises of the Lord. And the word says he's faithful to all his promises. Oh, don't cut God short. Amen. He's faithful. Is that right? Yeah, Whatever Jesus Christ promised you, thank God it's coming. Yeah. He's, he promised you eternal life, right? Yeah. All right, that's enough. Read it. If you endure chastening, yeah. God dealeth with you as with sons. If you can go through and take what this word put on you, God will deal with you as sons. That's right. Dang. Read it. For well, what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? I don't care how grisly looking you look. You son of God, he's, he, he loves you. He's going to, you know, reprove you, rebuke you. People always want to hear something. That's why these false prophets have the world messed up. You tell people what they want to hear. That's right. That's right. How can you save anybody and you don't reprove and rebuke mm -hmm. them? Can't do it. You know they're full of the devil. That's right. And you have to rebuke that devil. That's right. <laughs> Is that right? Amen. 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 God give you power to rebuke that devil. Amen. Somebody arguing and complaining with you, and, and you said, you asked the Lord to rebuke the devil. Said, Lucia, Satan. Mm -hmm. They look at you sort of strange, like he talking to me. <laughs> I, I let him know it's not you, but I said, I'm buking the devil. Lucia, Satan, Lucia. He calling me a devil. <laughs> I'm buking the devil. God gave me the power to buke the devil. In his name. Is that right? Amen. And I use that to look at me strange like. They sort of quieten off too when you tell them Lucia, Satan. Get the hands behind me now. I know you, devil. Lucia. Oh, look at him. Now he called me a devil. <laughs> you act like the devil. So I'm going to rebuke what's using you. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Is that, they don't want to be called a devil. But the devil using them. Right. 
Is that right? Amen. You don't have to call their name. Just do like Jesus said. Lucia! Satan, get thee hands behind me. I say it's not the thing that be of God, but of men. For right. Jesus duped that devil that caused Peter to say that. The right. devil caused us to do wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it, 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 it's, it's not flesh and blood, uh -uh. spiritual wickedness, the word said, in high places. The devil makes us do things right. against God's will. That's right. But he had to come subject in the name of Jesus Christ. Is that right? Next time somebody arguing and complaining with you, but you buke that devil, you better have some power. Don't let that devil say, who are you talking to? <laughs> who are you talking to? You buke that devil out loud like that, you, you better have some power. Because that devil meant you, who are you talking to now? Right. Jesus I know and Paul I know, but who are you? Who are you? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a preacher say, buke that devil. You better make sure you have some power when you buke that devil. <laughs> that devil jump on you. Because it was. He said, I don't know you as having no power to mm -hmm. buke me. Mm -hmm. Is that right? <laughs> Lord Jesus, yeah, Lord, <laughs> Amen. Is that right? You all gonna buke the devil? Have some power now. You don't have the power to buke that devil. You better hush. That's right. And pray. God give you the power to pray. Lord, I pray against this devil. Oh Jesus, Lord Jesus. Is that right? <laughs> You better let, let that be running through your mind. That's true. You come up with your mouth up, Lucia, Satan! <laughs> <laughs> you better have some power to do that. Power of God to do that. Amen. And God give that power right. to certain people. That's right. Is that right? Yeah. He give them to certain people. Mm -hmm. And you all have to admit this. God give it to some. Tread on is that right? Oh yeah. If you have it, God must have given it to you. Oh yeah. That's right. God gonna give it to you according to the word. Mm -hmm. See, I can't alleviate the word. I can't change the word of God because oh, no. I feel a certain way. I'm not changing the word for that. I'm gonna stick with the scriptures. Yeah. Whatever the scriptures say, I say Amen. Yeah. Amen. And no explanation. I say what the scriptures say. That's right. If I see something that's not in the scripture, I don't go with it. Right. It's got to be written. The right. Bible says, what's the ever written a full time? It's written for what? Our learning. I'm supposed to learn from what is written. That's right. And I better see myself in what's written. That's right. If it's not written, I throw my hands. No, I can't do that. Is that right? Amen. Yeah, man. Be careful how you feel now. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. If your feelings go over the word of God, that's not the right feeling. Right. Right. You have to admit it's not the Amen. right feeling. That's Is that right? right? Yeah. It's not. Man. Peter thought he had the right spirit, but he yeah. didn't. Mm -hmm. John and those thought they had the right spirit too. They did. Yeah. When they said, Jesus, you can pray down some fire. They thought they were right to pray down fire from heaven. He didn't follow. <laughs> they thought they were right. They felt like they were right. That's right. But they were wrong, weren't they? They were wrong. Boy, you, you, know you don't know not, what spirit in you? You know not what manner of spirit you are. What Jesus said, read it. Luke 9 and 9, 9, 49. And John, and, <clears throat> and John answered and said, Master. Master. We saw one casting out devils in thy name. All right. And we forbade him. Because uh -huh. he followed not with us. Uh huh. And Jesus said unto him, What? Forbid him not, for he that is not against us is for us. And it came to pass when the time was come that he should be received up, he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem. Uh huh. He sent messengers before his face, and they went and entered into a village of Samaritans to make ready for him. 
and they did not receive him because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. And when his disciples James and John saw this, yes. they said, What? Lord, Lord, wilt thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? Yeah, even be careful. As Elias did? Yeah, yeah, be careful how you feel in there sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Be careful how you feel. You got to be after the, according to the words of God. That's right. Is that right? You think the devil care who he used? No. He doesn't care. You can declare that thing is right, but is it according to the scriptures? That's right. If it's not according to the scriptures, you better pray and ask the Lord to show you exactly because if it's something that's not according to the scriptures, I can't go by that. I can't condone it to you. That's right. Man. Is that right? That's right? Sure, you feel like doing things, but you can't necessarily say that God because you feel like it. That's right. That's right. What, what, what they say to Jesus? Wilt thou that we command fire to come down from heaven? Look at this. And consume them, even as Elias did? We want some fire to come down. Like Elijah did. And, and kill all those 50 people that came there. Fire. Boom. Burn them up. Yeah. Send somebody else. He prayed again. And boom. They burn up. <laughs> well, you think that we do that? Burn these. And I would burn them up, Lord. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Jesus didn't come for that. No. no. That's right. That matter was okay on the law. But yeah. truth and grace. Yeah. Jesus, he didn't come to do that. But he turned and rebuked them. He did what? He turned, but he turned and rebuked them and Me, said. His apostles? But he turned and rebuked them. Uh-oh. And said. What? Ye know not what man of spirit ye are. Oh, look out here. You're, the apostles didn't have the right spirit at that particular time. No, they didn't have the right spirit. They made a decision that was off base. Mm -hmm. Flesh. Jesus, y'all don't know what kind of spirit in you all? <laughs> Is that right? right. On fire to come down and burn them up. <laughs> you don't realize what's wrong. What did he say? What did Jesus say? You know not what man of spirit you are of. You don't know what kind of spirit you are of, what's in you, spirit. For well, the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives. Look out! But to save them. All right, there you go. He, Jesus, he, he came to save us. And he had, Jesus has a method that he put out how to save those people. He said, that's why I came. Came to save them. Not destroy them. All that stuff won the law. That's why you can't live under the law. You can't be guilty in one point. Not one. You got to do all the law. Yes, Man, there's some things under the law. Sometimes I read it. Go. No. I sure thank God for truth and grace. Man, we couldn't do all that they had under the law. Man, you got some stuff in this. That I shall not do this. I shall not do that. Oh, man. It's, oh, grace. It's goodness. Woo, Jesus. Jesus, if they did certain things under the law, they could stone them to death. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Did certain things under the law, they could cut the hands off. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man, is that right? Amen. You certain things this. All right, come on. You use those hands the wrong way and put it the wrong place. They said, yeah, cut off. Cut those hands off. That written in the words, y'all can look it up yourself. I won't say anything about it, but I'll let y'all look it up. That's right. And see why that woman lost her hands because of something she did. And the law was against what she did. Oh, yeah. Amen. And then she was supposed to cut her hands off if she did that. That's right. All right. I'm not getting that now. You go ahead and let you find it yourself. It's written. <laughs> Amen. That's written all right. Well, I don't know why that woman lost her hands. She did something she wasn't supposed to do with her hands. That's right. 
And the law said, cut them off. And she was trying to help somebody. Amen. All right, read it. Hebrews 12, 8. But if ye be without chastisement. Nobody correct you. The word doesn't correct you. You don't pay the word any attention. When the word says something, you say, that's not for me. What did it say? But if ye be without chastisement. If you be without correction in here and reproving and rebuking. Whereof all are partakers. God bring everybody in the church like this. Then are ye bastards and not sons. Bastard and not sons. Amen. Mean you don't have a father. Is that right? All right. Unweighted child. All right. Read on. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us. Yeah. And we gave them reverence. We sure did. My old man whooped me and I declare. I said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I made sure I say, yes, sir. Put that sir in. Sir. <laughs> yes, sir, daddy. Yes, sir. <laughs> I honored that man for whooping me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and chasing at me. Now you come to the Lord and he whooping up on you. You want to fight back and resist. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to do what he Don't say. Read it. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits? Come on. Live? Come on. Let's be, let the Lord do what he's supposed to do and, and live. That's in right. other words, save me, Lord. Yeah, man. Uh, isn't that right? God. If I can go through this. I'm going to have some peaceable yeah. fruits of righteousness. Yeah. Yeah, for they barely for a few days chasing us after their own pleasure. Uh-huh. But he for our profit. See, Jesus correcting you, telling you not to commit adultery, yeah, right. not to commit fornication. Yeah. He telling you these things for a reason. Yeah, man. Not to covet, not to have an injured spirit. You see what I'm saying? He tell you these things because you're going to get something if you obey the word. What did it say, read it? That we might be partakers of his holiness. Oh! Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be You don't like this word to buke you. But you grievous. You done going out there and did something wrong. You don't want the word to buke you. Is that right? Yeah. So if you want to sneak and do adultery. Man, the God come in and say, you shouldn't do the things. Is that That's right? right? Amen. I said, man, I don't want to hear that. But that's how he's chasing you. Man. That's how he correct you. That's right. No fornication. Oh, God. Right. Man, I like that thing. <laughs> Is that right? Man, I like that fornication. Say, it make you feel good. But Jesus come and he speaks against that. And you don't want God to tell you this. You want to not even say anything about it. And let you commit all the fornication you want. And the preacher never preaches on it. Not God. He chasing us. For a reason. Get your mind off of it. If you're not married, get your mind off of it. You're not supposed to be indulged in it. Amen. Amen. You say, you know, they preach about, well, shouldn't God warn you about what's causing you to go to hell fire? He's going to do it. Don't shouldn't you. you be warned? Yeah. And these are some of the things you have to be warned about because this is something our old flesh yearns for. Yeah. It's, oh, you know it's true. Yeah. Then you don't want the preacher to touch these things. Touch it. And the preacher had to come in here because it's a chasing another Lord. That's right. Is that right? Amen. It comes in and dukes us. It reproves us. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Thank the Lord. Right. Tell you don't even have no mind of that. Get the mind of Christ That's right. in you. That's, That's right. right. That's right. To please God. Amen. Surely. Not to please our old self. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. You just try to squirm up a little bit. When you hit some of these subjects, they go looking. Don't say it. 
Don't say it. The devil tell you he shouldn't say anything about these things. Why? This is the thing causing you to be dumb in hell. They don't want the preacher to mention nothing like this. See, we know that. Go to something else. Go to something we don't know. But you have to do that what you're supposed to know about first. And let the Lord lead you to something else. If you continue doing that, even having the mind for it, the word had to come against it. Is that right? See, a man look upon a woman and lust after her. He already done committed adultery in his heart. So these are the things causing men to be lost and the preacher shouldn't mention that. I can't have a dog that will chase a rabbit or a coon and one run across my yard and I hold him back. Oh, no, no, not, not yet. Don't go, don't go now. <laughs> and I run across their yard, I'm supposed to turn him loose. Is that right? Amen. Yeah, man. Amen. See, certain things kill the church. Adultery, fornication, right. covetousness. Envy and strife. Those things that kill the church. Tear it up. Tear it up. You got to hit against these things. Oh yeah. Is that right? A covet spirit, a adult, this thing will cause you to be lost. And you don't want to hear about these things. Tell me about how Jesus fed four thousand. Is that right? 5,000. I want to hear this. Because I want some bread too. A little fish too. I want to be the blessed like this. Well, the chasing of the Lord is going to tell you what's wrong with you. Amen. You mean to tell me you correct your child and you don't tell your child what's wrong with him? What he's doing wrong? Yeah. So if you keep doing this, boy, I'm going to put something on you now. So the Lord warns us to quit certain things. But if you keep doing it, you're going to fall into the hands of the Lord. And it's a fearful thing. Is that right? You fall into the hands of the living God? That's rough there, buddy. Is that right? So you have to be warned. Amen. Amen. You mad if you were sitting up in the church and where the mind at? The mind not on the Lord. Dun, 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 dun. Man, it would flash on this wall in here. What's wrong with a lot of people? You see some thing, the handwriting on the wall? Good God Almighty, look what that brother thinking about in the church. Jesus! Oh, yeah. And put his name on it. That's true, too. <laughs> this is what he's thinking about. This is what she's thinking about. <clears throat> and their name go up under that. Well, it is, my, it is me as well be written on the wall because God has a photostatic remembrance about these things. And just what's on that mind, God knows it. Amen. In other words, getting the mind of Jesus Christ in us. That's right. A praying mind. A righteous mind. That's the mind that's in Christ. And that's the mind he wants us to have. Is, is that right? The truth will make you free. Nothing else, no lie will make you free. You have to hear the word of God. What did it say? Read it. For no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous. Yeah, it's not too joyous. But grievous. But it's grieving you. When you, when you want to do wrong. Amen. Is that right? See, this word had to be preached to the young people. Yeah. Try to keep yourself until you grow up. That's right. And able enough to take care of yourself. That's right. That's right. Is that right? Oh, yeah. And you want to get married? And the words say that's honorable. Just wait. That's right. Wait. That's right. Wait. Amen. Wait till you get married. That's right. 
and go lock the door. Do like they do up north. They don't just have one lock on that door in New York. You think they just got one little safety lock like what we have on the door here? No, sir. When you go there, man, that door line up with locks. So they go, you stand at the door, clip, clip. Just a minute, clip, clip. Just a minute, clip, clip. <laughs> See, I'm oh, yeah. serious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When I first went to New York, we went out there to pick up somebody to bring them back to South Carolina. And, they, and, and number one, you had to ring the doorbell. And if they're living up one or two stories up there, you ring the doorbell and back out like this. Yeah. Hey! Oh, okay, that's, that's my friend. And you go in. And when you get up to their apartment, you hear it, you hear click, 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 click. Oh, yeah. And I when they opened the door, I said, God, I never seen so many locks on the door. Three or four locks they have on that front door. do. Amen. The word is right, isn't it? Doesn't care how you look at it, it's still right. I'm going to accept the way Jesus Christ put it on me. I don't hardly like it, do you? My flesh don't like it. But the Lord sure laid on you. And those are the ones that are going to be saved too. You're going to reap peaceable food of righteousness. Go through, young people. Go through. Go through and put you five, ten locks on the door. Somebody knock at those. You can't come in now. Please come back later. Oh yeah, it's all, the Bible says that's honorable, and the bed is undefiled. Just wait till you can do that. Don't run and do it unlawfully here. Do it lawfully, it, it, the way God wants you to do it. And this is what He's chasing you to, right? Amen. One day, if the Lord's will, you get somebody. If he doesn't give you anybody, just yeah, go ahead and serve the Lord. Amen. You can please him more. Right. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. I'm just, this is God, man, of doing things, people. Oh, yeah. You can't say something the preacher won't. Is that right? Amen. There's yeah. no cult here. This is the word of God. Oh, yeah. Is that right? This is the word of God. You don't have a cult here. Do you have one? No, we don't have one here. We have Jesus Christ. Somebody think we have one because we had to go to church so much, you know, and blah, blah, this and that. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. This is the plan of salvation, the apostles' doctrine, whereby we all can be saved according to the words of God. That's what it is, saints. This is what God chasing you with. He scourge you and rebuke you because he wants you saved. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Go back and read it. Amen. Luke 16 and 25. All right. But Abraham said, Son, yeah. remember that thou in thy lifetime receiveth thy good things. You see this? And likewise Lazarus, evil things. We, you, you may lose some good things in this world if you follow Christ now. Oh, yeah. Seems like you stay broke. <laughs> Every time you look around, they, they want more money, more money. Well, it's best to give it to God. Amen. Is that right? Amen. It's best to give it to the Lord. That's right. Amen. Is that right? You know, some people are parasites. Mm -hmm. They're attached and they live off of others. And they don't do anything. Is that right? Some people don't want to pay any tithes into the church. That's right. They love it, they say, but they don't do anything like this. Now when they die, they want the church to bear them. Mm -hmm. Is that right? 
I said, that's a cheater. I'd be ashamed to come to the church and I didn't support it at all. Something to bury you, give you a plot out there and bury you. You stuck your head in the door once or twice. I had them, they got angry with me. <laughs> One time I used to fall as prayer to them. Yeah, they, 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 they got baptized in the church. How long ago they got baptized? Back here, Bishop Hunter baptized him, I think, back in 1945. Uh, uh, <laughs> he, he got baptized in the church, but since then, he ain't done nothing to support the church. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, now today, the family called the church. He, he was baptized in the church there. Man, I learned what to do. I pop a price on them. They got angry and went somewhere else. Good. Good. Got angry with me. Amen. You, you, either, you either pay now or pay later. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Amen. Isn't that something? I'll be no parasite on the church. Mm -hmm. if, I, if I love this, I give to it. Amen. That's the Lord. Give till it hurt. Is that right? Yeah, all, all these churches here, man, it's a lot of expenses, y'all. You got some church, can they even afford themselves? Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. And they have a lot of bills and don't have enough members to support it, Holly. <laughs> Amen. Is that right? Amen. You find out and they take up the offering. See, how much was the offering? Five dollars. I don't care if you had three people in that church, your offering should be more than five dollars. What y'all say about it? Man. You should see that that offering go up more than that. Five dollars, you in a big church? Then that thing you knew ringing headquarters. Hey, ring, ring. What if you contribute? I'm talking serious talk. This is a convention, right? I can see these things. Try to get while all of you here. Try to get you to give some reference to what you're doing. Is that right? If you have three people in that church having served, make sure they're offering more than five dollars. Say, how can we do that? You can pay two, three dollars a piece. Man, man. That's what we do. We pay more. Oh, yeah. And the offering come up more. That's right. And we're in the world, I'm going to let Lick City come up with five dollars off. Mm -mm. A big church five dollars. How you going to pay the light bill? You won't pay it. Not with that. <laughs> five dollars? Everybody in the Lick City almost give more. That's right. We don't want our offering down there, no five dollars. No, no. Amen. Man. That's right. We're gonna make sure the offering get up in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's right. All of Lick City out of the little branch church, man, we have a nice little offering. Okay, if we have a few in there, the offering's right. gonna be more than five dollars. Oh yeah. Amen. <laughs> Can't pay no light bill all month off of five dollars every time you have service. That's right. Five dollars? Y'all should be ashamed of y'all self. I wouldn't even write that amount down so that what the offering were. Five dollars? Six dollars? You in a big old church got the air going, the heat going. Turn the light me off. Turn the light. You're not getting enough offering in there to pay the light bill. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Amen. I'm sorry. Some have to suffer a little more than others. Mm -hmm. is, is that right? Yes. Amen. God can take a few and win the battle. Oh, yes, God can now. Ain't no restraint on God. Amen. If it's, if it's a few or a thousand, 
It, you've got no constraint on God. God can help you. Yeah. You want to improve? You have to put yourself, like this say, to the wheel. Mm -hmm. And see that that doesn't happen in the church. Thank the Lord. Two or three members there talking, how much y'all take up for offering? Five dollars. Present your body as a living sacrifice unto God. You got your church in there, you better support it. Better support it, man. Amen. Branch churches. Amen. If you can afford to run that heat, you have to pay the bill. Amen. Either cut the heat down and yes, put sir. on clothes. Yes, sir. Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you have to support your branch church. Calling here to call something and pay out, pay our light bill. What? Mm. Turn the heat down. Yes, sir. Yeah. Call on the name of the Lord. Lord, yeah, we yeah, need yeah, you. Yeah. Heat us up, Lord. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Amen. Tell me the truth. That's true. Yeah, don't offer no five dollars and six dollars. You shaming yourself to even write that down on the list. Mm. How much was the offering Wednesday night? Thursday night. Six dollars. What? How many people was in church? Well, we had three or four people. Three or four people there? And that's all the offering you got? Cut out one of them burgers. Cut out some turkey fried chicken. You can stand a day or two. Oh, yeah. Is that right? That's a sacrifice. See, that burger I'm supposed to eat for five, six dollars tomorrow. I'm going to skip that burger and I'm going to put this five dollars in the church. That's right. All the blessings. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's okay if you skip one meal. Yeah. That's right. I'm going to sacrifice and give the Lord this six dollars. Yeah. I'm not giving it to Burger King. True. Or McDonald's. That's right. You go in McDonald's, you're you going to pay five, six, seven dollars for a burger and some french fries and a drink or something. Oh, yeah. You'll be more healthy if you skip that. Amen. You say, I'm going to church tonight. I'm not going to buy that burger today. I'm going to skip that burger. I'm going to put this five dollars, six, seven dollars in the church for offering. You see how you can build up? Oh, yeah. You see how you can build up? Come in to is you died an inexcusable old man whomsoever thou art. God able to bless three people. Oh, yeah. If he in the midst there, he can bless you. Thank you, Lord. All right. Amen. Say we having church Tuesday night, branch service. Say I'm skipping that burger today. I'm not eating it. I'm going to put it in the church. And see how God bless you. You will be blessed. Man. Then you look at your offering. Wrote, oh, we got $25 tonight. We got $30 tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that right? Why? Because you made the sacrifice. What y'all say about it? Yeah, man. Every one of them who can skip that, look, at, look how they are. See if they're skin and bone. They're not no skin and bone. Or oh, robust, healthy looking people. <laughs> Five dollars offering. All right, y'all, come on. Oh, I, I should have been a song we can sing, but five dollar offering. No more five dollar offering. No more five dollar offering. No more five dollar offerings. Go put a ring to it. <laughs> Come on, God. <laughs> Bless you, heart. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes.
Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise We're currently in the midst of our second day of our semi-annual convention service. The service will convene here at our headquarters church until May the 28th. Service will begin each morning at 10 a.m. and again at 7 p.m., except on Sunday when service will begin at 11 a.m. and will continue throughout the course of that day. All are cordially invited <coughs> to celebrate with us in these great spiritual services of the Lord. Again, if it is the Lord's will. By way of announcement, we currently have convention name badges for a $3 donation. All proceeds will benefit the church and scholarship fund. Also, by way of announcement, if it is the Lord's will, there will be a choir rehearsal on today, May the 20th at 3 p.m. We are asking that the choir members be on time to arrive. We'll be on time today as well. I'm so thankful for that message we get, that get advising us me, how we must go about doing things. And all of us want to go back with the Lord. Now, see, if you don't want to go back, you have to do wrong. Keep on doing wrong. But if you want to go back with the Lord, we have to change our unrighteous ways. And give man heed to the Lord. What is right? And it's also when he said about the, about the offering. Some folks don't give enough quiet enough often in the name of Jesus. And it makes it bad to the branch churches. So we have needed a little money, needed money and don't have it. So you come up short when you don't somebody don't give a give a, a dollar to. It don't make don't seem good. So we have a, he's right by all the things he said. I I really know that. So thank God for you. Each and every one in the name of Jesus Christ. At this time, we're going to ask you to stand and sit outside this. 